Hello, welcome. What I'm working on today is a collage. I've got this sheet. This is watercolor paper that I gel printed. Actually, I was just pulling stuff off to make some kind of a background for a, a collage. I got a photo. I got this photo from. I usually use my own photos, but I haven't had time to take any lately. This photo came from the site. Um, it's called Paint My Pictures, the name of the site. And basically, photographers get on there and post their pictures for you to turn into uh, paintings or collage or whatever you want to do. So uh, they give you permission to use their photos. So I'm doing this one, and this is a really bad representation. It's a really good photo, but I, I hit the brightness because I wanted to see the edge of these flowers really well. I wasn't really worried about perfect resolution. Um, and I'm going to do, originally these are all yellow flowers, and I think the cup was even yellow too. Um, but what I'm going to do is I took this, made a copy of it, and I just basically outlined where my parts are going to be for, for this. Now there is a faint, you can barely see it, there's a faint, another, another pot down here. Let me see if I can pull it up where you can see it. See right down here, there's actually another planter pot. You can barely see it. And I drew it in, but I think I'm going to take that out. I think it's just going to be the table across there. And what I'm going to do, this is the page I'm going to use, which is way too big, but I'll cut it off around the edges when I'm done. But I'm going to use this here for the tablecloth, this and below, for where the table is. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut out one of these. I'm just going to cut out the outline. And I'll show you what I'm going to do when I come back. As you can see, I took one of them of the three that I made. I made three copies of the ones with the lines. And I took one of them and I cut out what I'm going to want the outer edge to be. You can see that. Now I'm going to find out where it goes on the paper. I want this line to match up with this. So that's going to be my tablecloth. And like I said, I'm probably going to cut some of the edges off when I'm done, so I'm not worried if it's exactly a line in the middle. But I do want this dark green in, in those spots there. So let's bring it down just a little bit. And I'm going to take my pencil, and I'm going to outline this. Make sure I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, I can see it. See, this is where I want the tablecloth to be, but I probably should have cut the tablecloth part off, but I'm just outlining this outer edge that I've got. And it's not going to be extremely precise when I cut the, because one of these is going to be used to cut out the different colors to go in the different places, but it's not... Like I said, it's not extremely precise. This is just giving me an idea of where everything needs to go when I'm aligning it up. And I'm going to, because some of these, I want some of the flowers to be bright colors. And I, the paper that I'm going to be collaging with is um, either tissue or gel, um, deli paper with uh, printing over it. It's uh, jelly printed, but you can do it by painting it too. You don't need a gel plate to do this. I mean, you could paint the background paper and then work from there. I've done that before. Actually, my next one is going to be an elephant. That's probably what I'm going to be doing is painting the page. Nor the hammering. That's my neighbor. If I go to do a video, he's got to do some outside work. Never fails. Like I said, I'm just getting a general outline because I can adjust as I go along. And what I think I want to do now is line that up. Make sure that V right there is. That V right there. I'm going to cut this off the tablecloth so I can get a better idea where my pot's going to be. Just cutting that that section that's not pot. I'll line up that V there. That 
V there so I got it right. Lucky I've got good light here. It's not good light for um, filming, but it's really good light because I've got these little lights, little stand-up lights right down in my work. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do, I've got that all done. Make sure I can see it. Yeah, I can see it. And I got a little pot of gesso. And a little paintbrush. Actually, I need a better paintbrush than that one for this. That other one's for glue. I just got me a new set of paintbrushes from Amazon. I hope one of them's... Um, well, I don't want too big a one, but I want one with a sharp edge, so let's use this one. Yeah, I was running low on paintbrushes. I made a boo-boo and unfortunately left them in the water out there in the 100 degree temperature and of course on the once the water evaporated they were no good anymore some of those paint brushes are ones I had for a very long time too now what I'm doing is I'm doing gesso so that when I come over this with the tissue paper, you might see some of the background that was already there, but you won't see just the background. And I haven't really picked out the tissues yet, other than I've got a couple that have these nice bright colors that I was going to use. I'm going to have to tilt this a little to see the pencil line. I said I'm not worried about being too thick, so I dipped it in water first. Let's get the edge. And we'll come back and do the rest. In any place I don't get it quite right, I can slap another flower on it. And I think I'm going to do this by ripping the paper and doing little pieces. Sometimes I cut, sometimes I rip, but I'm going to do a basic outline one. And then come back with little ripped pieces to add to it. Ah. It's not as easy to see as I thought it was going to be. But we won't worry about that. Just do the edges. Yeah, see how that's just masking that? It's not totally covering it up. And it's just masking it a little. I didn't get it real good on this side, but don't want it too thick anywhere though, so I'm gonna go back over and pull out this thicker areas. And just give it a light wash in the middle. Okay. 
there's the basic shape that's a start want some little dark areas showing through and I'm gonna go over the pot again because I think I think I was gonna do black and white for the pot so give that a little bit more gesso than the rest of it and then I'm gonna let this dry it doesn't take long for gesso to dry it's kind of a chalky paint and we're gonna leave the top thinner where that dark thing is and I'm going to make sure that I don't have any big thick, see there's some thick blobs that I'm going to take out. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to come back and work on it some more. But that has to dry for a good half an hour or so and then I will be back and we'll be We'll start cutting out the little strips of paper to put in there. Okay, so this is all dry now. And I have pulled out some greens, for the background greens and the leaves. Some greens and some bluish greens. Little bit, little greens, dark greens, middle greens. I don't have any light greens, and I don't know what that purple is doing in there. But um, for the flowers, I have pulled out some yellow, some that have oranges. I think we're going to keep with the hot colors for the flowers. I don't know what I'm going to do with the vase. That'll be the last thing I do, probably. And I've got these nice yellows here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cut, cutting, cutting out the flowers. And I will... I guess I'll use this one for cutting out and I'm just going to cut out the major pieces like this I'm going to cut out as one piece and then cut it out of here as one piece and then go back over it with a few other petals but I'll probably start with right here right here let me show you what I'm going to do And I'll have to figure out where it goes on there as I go along. I'll show you one way to do that. If you leave this paper intact, you've almost got to... And I'm going to be gluing this down with... Actually, somebody recommended this. It is the UHU... Well, this is the Super Mario one, but uh, it's glue stick. And I'm going to stick it down, and then eventually when it's done, I'll go over the top of it with gel medium. Alright, so I'm just going to do this one right here. Now the thing is, what I was saying about saving that paper that you just cut it out of, trying not to cut the paper, even though it would be more convenient to cut. That way you can just kind of line it up know about where you're going on here so we're going right about there which would be right because then there's that you can see on this there's this which would be that white part right there so okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them out I think I'm gonna cut this one out of here somewhere I'm actually gonna use the black dot for the middle of it so let's do this one right here. And I'm just holding it. I mean, you can tape it down or whatever you want to do. But it's not going to be majorly precise, so... This is kind of a... Sort of impressionist. These flowers are never going to look realistic my impression of what they should look like. Okay. So, I'm just going to cut it around there. Right 
raggedy edges though. Now, I can see how it goes from that one there. And I'm going to be coming back through. It goes right about there. And I'm going to be coming back through with um, pen and ink and other things to do these. But right now I'm just doing the background. And then I will cut. Like say I want one of the petals to be different. I would come back and put another petal in if I wanted it. Give it some more depth. Maybe another petal up there. But right now I'm going to glue this down with a glue stick. I haven't even opened this yet. And I have used glue stick before. This is just, I used that purple stick. This is just the first time I've used this. I got a couple good recommendations for it and so I'm going to try it. Like I said, I'm going to be going over it with, um, let's go this way, more of it out that way, and I kind of do want that other petal underneath it, and usually I have another sheet of paper that I do my gluing on. I think I want another petal up top. I want to separate them. Let's see what shape does it need to be. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go along and do with the flowers and then fill in between the flowers and just with little pieces of the greens and that. Maybe out this way. Yeah, that's what I want. Keep trying to take the bottom off. That's not going to work. Yeah, I am going to get another sheet of paper. I think I got one under this that I can use for gluing. And I work as I go along. I don't really have, I mean, you can be more precise with this, I guess, but I just don't. You can see I left a little bit of a thick gesso there, and you can see it. That's what I hate when you do that. But I'll come back and sand it to get rid of that. Like I said, this is going to be gone over with some more petals and more petals and until I get what I like. But basically, this is just the base of the flower right there. So I'll do another one. This one I will do in a red, I think. And I'm going to try and keep this paper together, like I said. Just as a kind of a guide to where these need to go. Now the other way to do this, I have also um, done the gesso and then put the picture over with um, tracing paper in between and traced it right onto here. I'd usually do that if I'm going to do the, the torn paper look. 
Oops, I didn't mean to put that off. Okay. Now this is the big one that's up here. It's right there. I need more petal. So we're probably going to do this one in one big red sheet. And then come back and start adding other petals to it. Or you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to do this part right here. Well, let me go answer my phone. I'll be right back. As usual, it was just a spam call. See, I cut the top part of it off because I'm going to do that in a different color. Or a different shade of red, I guess. And like I said, this is just getting the basic forms in. And I'll show you what I'm going to do in between. All right. Now this should go... I have my reference here. Hmm. This should go up here. Right there. And then that other part goes above it. Just hold that there. Get that glue down. slides a little bit so you gotta be careful you can get that glue down nice and tight and like I said it's gonna glue down further when I go over it with a And this is what I'm going to keep doing. Let me find another piece that will go above it. Orange or red or whatever. Oh, here's a nice piece. Now, I'm not worried about the divisions on this, where they, you know, the lines are. I'm keeping the pieces so that I can lay them over and get an idea where I want to divide them. But right now, I'm not worried about that so much. And I will come back and put more petals on it and put more definition on it as I go along. I love doing these in pieces. I mean, you can get more precise. But I want it to be kind of, not the photograph, I want it to be abstracted and, uh, this is more rounded actually. Okay. And this is going to be right there. Yep, right there. Let's 
See how that helps define the flower a little bit more? And every time I put a new petal in, it will help define it a little bit more. I don't know if I like this glue, but we'll see when I'm done. The purple glue always worked well for me. This is not working as well. But like I said, I'm going to stick it all down at the end anyways. It will absorb the... The final seal but I do want to make sure it's down as tight as I can so it's not going to move when I'm working with it but see that's what I'm doing and I'm going to decide on the different colors um, the main flowers are going to be red yellow orange and then yellow over here so I'm going to get working on that and I'm doing the same thing for the whole the flowers and I'll show you what I'm doing for in between. I'm going to do, you can see how you can see the lines of the, but it's not real defined. And that's one of the things I liked about the photograph. So I'm going to be taking strips of this green and greenish yellow. And let's see, let's do a real green. I don't do a lot for, with green, so I have trouble when it comes to doing these things, finding enough green to make a... And I'm going to start... Oh, I'll cut it to start. I'm going to start laying in what would be leaf shapes. I could lay one right... Well, I'd like it to go... No, that goes the right way. So I'd have to cut it off here. Right there. And just lay that in as a fill-in. I keep trying to take the wrong end off. And I would fill it in there. <clears throat> and that's what I'm going to be doing as I go along, filling it in. I think I'm probably not using enough glue. And I don't worry if I leave a little white because I can come back with a small piece. Or I go over the yellow, I can come back with a small piece. And, uh, like, fill in. Well, that was just in my finger. An overlap. And that's how I'm going to come back and define everything. And it's like a puzzle. You do your flowers, and then I do the background, and then I go back to doing the flowers. And that's what I'm going to do. These littler flowers, I'm not going to worry about cutting those out. I'm just going to come back with um, those shapes. I can just sketch them and come back and go over it again. So I will be putting something down, and like I did just there, overlap it. And put something else down. I'll probably put a really bright yellow right here to define this. And that's what I'm going to do. And I will come back when I've got most of it done. Okay, so I just wanted to show you where I am on this now. Get that other light up there. As you can see, I have filled in some of the background here with just strips of green. And now I've started to cut out the leaves. And uh, it won't, when I'm done, it won't end up looking like this. Uh, the flowers are mainly done. I might go over this one a little. I don't like where it, it edged. I found a print to use for the vase. Well, actually, it's a cup. It's got a handle here. And I still have to do the background here. But this is where I am on it. And right now, I'm cutting out the leaves that will go... Um, along the edges and covering these white spots 
And when I'm done, I'm going to cut the little tiny flowers out. Um, you can see these right here, the little tiny ones. I'm going to cut those out when I'm finished with everything else. And then these small leaves, these might actually be drawn in later. But I don't know. I, I decide as I go along. But can you see, um, hopefully, over here where the table, this is going to be the tablecloth. And you can slightly see it through the vase, and I like that. But I still have these white areas that I've got to fill in. And I'm going to have some shadow down here, but I'm going to do that with colored pencil when I'm done. But basically, I've got the flowers mostly finished. I like the way they came out. This one, I, I might put another piece in there because I don't like how white that is. Um, it really looks white in the camera, but it's not as bad right here. But I might put another piece in there. That's why I haven't got it stuck down very well. Because as soon as I put it down, I went, oh, I don't know about that. So I'm going to go back over that. But I'm cutting the leaves out. I started over here doing a few. And I'm cutting some of them out of the same thing I used for the background. So it'll all blend in. There'll be leaves coming off the edge of all the flowers and covering over some of this. This white here and this white here. And then when I'm done, I want all the white covered. And then I will start on the little bitty flowers. So I will be back to show you how I'm doing that. Okay, so as you can see, I'm filling in the spaces. And what I'm doing now is just trying to find interesting patterns to put in between the flowers. I made a decision. Uh, I will put some of the little flowers on, but I decided what I really needed was one more large flower. You can see this is the original where right there there are a lot of small flowers there and I thought it would be more balanced because really when you're doing a design you want odd numbers and so I thought five of the large flowers would be better and then I'll I'll do a, I'll probably do the little flowers in pen and ink later and I will do a few I'll, I love this over here so I do want to do want to do that and, and I just laid down different colors so that I can when I do my drawing over it I will be able to uh, have nice little accents under them. But yes, I put in this orange flower up there, which I still have to tack down, but I wanted to put some green in between these two so the white's not showing. And uh, like I said, I'm going to go over it with line work to accentuate where the petals are. I never leave anything alone. So, And the table, I'm going to put line work here to make it pop out from the background and different things like that. But right now, I'm still doing, and I just want to show you what I've been doing to fill in that background, is just tearing small pieces of the different colors of green and blue that I have. Once I got in a few, I just wanted a few things that look like leaves. The rest of it, I want just to... Um, just to have some colors in there and everywhere I see a space I don't like the way it looks I just take that little teared section torn section teared section and yeah, my English is great and just add a little bit of accent and I'm adding them over each other so there's multiple layers to this And then I'll get one to, because this, this line here bothers me a little, so I'll get another little piece of something else. And I'm using, since I don't have a lot of greens, I'm using greens and blues. and Like here you can see I've got some rust browns and that. This is the handle. I'm going to have to do some line work so you can actually see that this is a cup. Even though I put the handle up a little too high, it probably should have been down here. But oh, I like the way it looks. See how I don't like that right there where that line is. I'll come in and put something to get rid of it. Squish it down with my fingernail. And, you know, I don't like right there, so I have an extra leaf if I wanted to bring that into there, but probably will bring this out here somewhere. But now I need a little piece for right there. It just has to be dark. It doesn't necessarily have to be green. It just... I'll get some bright green. I'll do a little of this. 
And I put this, as you can see, I put some stems in so it makes a little sense. Let's make that look like a leaf. At least part of it. But that's what I'm doing, and I think I'm going to end my video here. And I might come back with another video on um, how I... Matter of fact, I know I will come back with a second video on how I uh, accentuate the stuff. Eh. Uh, I don't like it. Nope, don't like it. We'll use it. Push that back down. Maybe use a tiny piece of it right there. Break up that space right there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and that's what I'm going to do. I, I just keep going through like this little... I want to put something between here to keep those flowers from butting up against each other. And I need to work under here with little tiny pieces. But that's what I do. I fill in that with little tiny pieces. And then I'm probably going to come back... I don't know if I, I'm I don't know if I'm gonna use pen and ink or what I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna do something. I never leave anything alone. But um I will come back and do a little more work on this. I guess I can tack that down now. Just a little more work. I wanna leave some rough edges. I don't want everything to be so Ooh, that fell there and it works perfect. Look at that. Um, I don't. I don't want to leave it like this. This is not the finished product. But I'm going to go through with uh, either colored pencil or pen and ink. I'll make that decision when I get the last of this bit up here done. And then I will come back and do another video with how I finish it. So thank you very much for viewing my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know the lighting's bad because it's night in here. I'm doing the best I can. Um, and like I said, I'll be back. Please put a like if you like the video. Subscribe so you get to see more of my videos. And hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when the videos come out. Thank you very much for viewing my video. You have a lovely, lovely day.